Here are the directions for the workplace 1B, a raise to 100. The materials you'll need for this workplace is a record sheet for both students to share, two dice numbered one through six, and a die numbered four through nine. The objective of this game is to fill in as many square units as possible to complete the grid. In order to start, player one will choose whichever two of these dice they'd like to toss or roll to see what their dimensions are going to be to determine the array they'll build. In this case, player one chose these two dice and they got a six and a two. So we will be building a two by six or six by two array. Regardless of the order, we know that we are, will be coloring in 12 square units. So they will, using their grid, color in 12 however they like as long as they make an array. Twelve square units. If the student rolled a one and would like to try for a bigger number, they're welcome to toss the dice one more time. After they have found the dimensions, in this case it's six by two, they write the equation it makes into the box below. From there, students will continue taking turns and tossing the dice to make new arrays. If the dimension rolled on the dice does not fit in their grid, they can break down the equation into smaller numbers as long as it is equal to the final product. For example, instead of doing 6 times 2, I could do 3 times 4 because it is still equal to 12 square units. Students will continue playing this game until they both have decided they have come as close as they can to 100. When both students have decided they have gotten as close as they can, the game is over and who has, whoever had gotten closest to 100 is the winner. These are the end of the instructions to Workplace 1B, a raise to 100. If you like a different variation of this game, students can pick each other's dice that they'll be using to make their array. For example, if player one wants player two to use these two dice rather than those two, they are welcome to choose that. 